guys it's Jill welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new today is Sunday happy St. Patrick's Day do not have any green on but I have green eyes so no one better pinch me period um I'm very tired I'm very ooh, I'm very very tired oh oh but I'm going to church and then I'm coming home and I'm going straight to doing nothing. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so yeah, on my way to church, I have this new, Kato came out with a new contour line, I, I or contour fit line. And I had showed you guys that, I don't know if it was last week's uh, vlog or the week before. I wanted to wear this dress from City Chic. Like, I really, really want to wear that dress. It says it's 45, but as I'm sitting in this, which is part of the Kato Contour Fit Collection, and I love, if I could link this down below, I will. It is spectacular. Y'all know I love anything lace. This is a really good quality lace. It's also stretchy. So, got that. It's not, like, entirely, like, super stretchy, but fits really well and do I want something different than these like maybe these let's pick out some earrings together those are cute that would actually look really good if I stay wearing this black versus that yeah I like this I like this one better but um yeah, me and the kids, we went to Starbucks yesterday. We did actually a lot because yesterday, Kentrell had to go to this thing with his church. Like he was volunteering and stuff. And so I just gave him the car and I was like, go ahead and take it. So he went there and then afterwards he went to lunch with uh, the people he was with. And so he was gone for a really long time me and ava we went to target and just kind of perused and looked around because there was like no, really nothing to do and like i said like i'm on a really tight budget so i'm trying to find things that are somewhat free semi-free that we can do and then so we we did that we went on a nice long walk and then after that we went to starbucks and we just sat there and colored i'll put up some of the footage of us there it was kind of cute actually so actually let me go to that footage because i want to do it all cutesy So after we came home, me and Ava went down to the pool and we, I read and it was amazing. It was such an amazing day. And I sat there thinking I am getting out of the house today. I don't know what I'm doing exactly, but I'm getting out of the house today. So I was just asking Ava, do you want to do this? Do you want to do this? Do you want to do this? And she said yes to everything. So I was like, okay, let's go. Like, I don't want to be in this house. So we did that. It was it was nice. It was really nice because I'm reaching a place in my life and in my journey where, you know, I'm doing all the bingo card stuff. And that was something off of the bingo card. But it was something as I was doing it where I was like, I'm going to do this more often. Like, this is something that, yes, 100%. Um, throughout the week, if I don't have anything to do, or if I need to go edit, I could go up there and edit, like all of the things. So definitely going to do that. I wanted to show you guys my outfit real quick. I was listening to this podcast. I'm not 24 hours, no phone. It's in the charger. I'm not even taking it to church with me. I'm going to let Ava have, um, um Ava's going to have her phone. So if Contrell needs to text me at any point, because he's, I'm dropping him off at his church 
then he can text her. But I am 24 hours, no phone. And I got to thinking, I was like, what is the importance of me doing this? Because one day throughout the month, and I've been doing this for the past three months. This is my third month doing it. One day I will do no social media for 24 hours. That was three months in a row. For the second month in a row, because last month I added another another one. I was like, let's see if we can go 24 hours without our phone. So for the second month in a row, we are doing 24 hours, no phone. I have this notebook right here because I actually learned last month that I do use my phone for more than just going on social media apps. <clears throat> and I use it for listening to podcasts. I use it for listening to music. I, I use it for pictures. I use it for so much stuff. So <clears throat> I have already, so far, I've only been up. It hasn't even been an hour yet. And I've already wanted my phone or like went to go get my phone. It's like, oh, let me go do this twice. The first one was immediately, as soon as I woke up, let me check my bank balance. <laughs> like as soon as I woke up. So <clears throat> I got to thinking, I was like, what is this for? And I was like, you guys don't know. So I have BED and when it comes to that, I get a lot of urges to binge. And a lot of times I have given into those urges. And so I'm really wanting to practice anything and everything that I can to practice getting through urges and picking up my phone, that impulse when you, oh, go pick it up, and then you're having to tell yourself no, like, no, don't go pick it up. You're not giving in to the impulse and the urge. So in a way, it is 100% helping me with continue with practicing my self-control, my urges, like my, my what what is it, self-discipline, so that I'm not giving in to those urges. And I'm just using a different, a different technique. I'm just using my phone instead of food you know what I mean but I have been really successful with it like I have done it twice a month this month well because I'm doing it now but I will I will I will get through today and then last month I did it twice and I got to thinking I said what is it about the phone and why do I feel because it's an accomplishment you also feel accomplished when you do it because it's like that was something that was it was hard you don't mat when you don't and, until you don't have your phone, you don't realize how much and what you use your phone for. And yeah, it's definitely an eye awakening thing, but I, I absolutely love it. I feel like I look so dang pale. I need some more bronzer or something, girl. But <clears throat> yeah, I feel like it's a really, really, really good thing and I love it and it'll be on every single bingo card. And even when I'm no longer doing bingo cards or who knows, maybe I'll do bingo cards the rest of my life. I don't know because it's really fun. It's essentially just writing my goals down for the month and then just accomplishing them. And when I do, I check them off. You know what I mean? It's really cool. So I need to start giving myself prizes though. I have not been giving myself prizes and that's one thing I said I was going to do and I haven't been, but I really, really, really need to start giving myself prizes because I'm winning at bingo and in turn I'm winning at life because my life truly has changed in these last two and a half months because yesterday is a prime example I would have sat and I would have sat there and been like, oh, like came up with all these excuses of, oh, this or oh, that or oh, that. And then I sat there and I was just like, no, I want to get out of the house. I don't want to sit here all day. So we're going to do this. And the excuses are starting to leave my mind because I have been thinking more positively, thinking differently, doing things differently that when I started thinking those things, it was a no brainer. It was like, okay, you want to go do this? Let's go do this. You want to go do this? Let's go do this. We want to get out of the house. What are we going to go do? And so it just, it just felt really, really, really good. So anyways, I wanted to wear this dress from City Chic. Do you see that blue beautifulness? I wanted to wear it. It's supposed to be 71, right? It's supposed to be 71 today, but right now it's only 45. So I think I'm gonna go with this and I'm gonna show y'all. I'll show y'all in the mirror what it is. I'm actually gonna show y'all right here how 
freaking gorgeous are these pants. They have no buttons, no nothing. They have a nice stretchy waist, but there's also some constriction to it. So I love that. They have a slight boot cut. They have pockets in the front, no pockets in the back. I will link these down below if I can. And then the top. The top is literal perfection. It's an 1820. The pants are a size 22. I feel like I probably could have went up to a 24. Nope. Because as I'm sitting in them, I can already tell that they're that they've stretched out a little bit. So yeah, 22 is actually perfect because I was thinking if they don't stretch out, I didn't like the way they were looking. So I was like, if they don't stretch out, then I'm gonna go ahead and put on the either the blue or the pink from 89th and Madison pants, which I will link those down below too because those are so good. But this, is what I'm gonna wear today to church. And I feel nice and springy and it feels really good. All right, I gotta go because I gotta go eat breakfast so I can get control over to his church and me over to my church. But yeah, links down below. And then I gotta show y'all this dress. Link is down below for this beauty too. On Wednesday, I think I'm just gonna wear it because it's gonna be in the 70s and I think I just wanna wear it just because it's gorgeous. So I will link this one down below too. It's from City Chic. It is, wait till you see the things that I got from City Chic. Go follow me on Instagram. I'm actually gonna be doing a collective haul with that too, but gorge. No, you didn't think I was playing when I said I was coming home and putting on my pajamas. <laughs> Girl, oh, it is not supposed to rain today. I swear it was supposed to be sunny and 70 and we walk out of church and it is raining. I'm gonna go relax. Oh my God, I love Sundays. I love Sundays. I have no plans. I will respond to y'all's comments. Don't forget about my channel membership. For those of you that are watching right now, we have already, cause this is going up next Sunday. So we would have done the live stream last Saturday, which was yesterday for you guys and hopefully it was amazing if you guys want to join my membership you can do there's three three tiers one of the tiers is a monthly live stream so if you want to come join it's linked down below in the description box and then it'll also be right up under it's right up underneath this video right next to the subscribe button it says join but um you guys also have like super early access to my videos I, I get my videos up pretty like several days before they actually go up sometimes like weeks before they go up so you guys with the second tier would get early access to my videos so so if you guys want early access or want to be included and in on the live streams then those live streams will live in that section forever by the way you'll as long as you're a member you'll always have access to any live stream that has taken place so I'm gonna go enjoy my Sunday and I'll see you guys tomorrow. So I have a dentist appointment, but I'm debating on whether I should go or not because I owe them money already. And I'm waiting for someone to pay me and they haven't paid me yet. So I was gonna use that money to pay my balance and they can't see me and this new appointment until I take care of the balance. And then I don't, I don't even remember how much my insurance is not gonna cover for this next appointment that's supposed to be tomorrow. So I may have to reschedule. But regardless, me and the kids still have, I really hope that the weather cooperates. Although it's, it's been 70, like yesterday was such a beautiful day. Tomorrow it's going to be like back in the 50s, but at least it's supposed to be sunny. So we're going on a picnic and we're also going on a walk. We really like this new park that we found. I really love it. And it, it takes you into the woods and there's this area where, which I've, I, yeah, I've, I've shown you guys before. It's like this, it's called like the fit fit trail or something and it has all these I guess park fitness machines that you can do extra I just I love it I just I love it it's it's in the woods but it I don't feel it's in the woods but I don't feel like secluded or unsafe 
uh, because I like the woods, but I don't like the deep, deep woods. You know what I mean? Like I love nature and just, it's just beautiful. So we're going there, there tomorrow. It's become one of my favorite places to go. So we're doing that and I'll bring you guys along for a little bit of that. But yeah, that's, that's what we have planned for tomorrow. I'm probably going to, uh, reschedule my dentist appointment because... I mean, I can't just pull money out of my butt, you know what I mean? Happy Monday, so I'm about to do my nails. I'm in a Easter pink mood. So I have these from OPI, which is the same, what's it called, shape that I just took off. So we've got those. also have these ones. These I got from Shein. And then we also have these ones. So I'm going to show you when I do my nails which one I end up choosing, because I'm not sure yet. Which ones do you think I chose? Go down in the comments and let me know. I chose this one. You would be correct. <laughs> These OPI ones, they're really good. I'll link them down below. I wish that they had these. Now you obviously can shape them into square. I wish that they had them already in square. This is, that color that I was telling you about on the picture when my kids were babies, well, they were little, they weren't like babies, babies, but uh, Mod About You by OPI. Really good. These are some really good nails. I like them a lot, but I'm not like this shape is just not my favorite. I'll wear it, but it's not my favorite. I actually need to go change my watch band because it just doesn't look good with this. Speaking of this, let me show y'all this dress. I will link this dress down below too. Chef's kiss times a thousand. Th I mean, mm, it's so good. Oh, before I show you the dress, this is another reason why I came on. I was sitting here listening to this podcast, right? You guys know, freaking love him. If you didn't catch wind of any of the vlogs that I've talked about him, his mindset around just life in general and and weight loss and all of the things has really truly been helping me I listen to him every single day I listen to his one of his podcasts or two or three so good this one this right here is one of those that I highly recommend if you just not even if you want to lose weight just in general the things that he's talking about in here can relate to so many different situations on whatever change it is that you're wanting to happen. So basically he's talking about the, the episode is called your weight loss secret weapon is right next to you. I have to wait for it to is right next to you. Let me see. Can I, let me get a link. And let me copy link and then I'm going to email this to, to myself right now. So that way I can send it to y'all or I can put it in the description box. Podcast link for vlog. So that way it's going to be linked down below. Everybody, I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what circumstance it is. I don't care what kind of change you're trying to have happen in your life. You need to listen to this episode. He basically talks about how one person can have this certain certain circumstance and blame their circumstances as to why this change isn't happening. And then you can talk to another person who has the exact opposite of this person's circumstances and this person is now blaming their circumstances which is completely opposite from this person's cir person circumstances as to why they can't in in his in his podcast is about losing weight so why they can't lose weight i i need you guys to go listen to this podcast because it is so freaking good i will link it down below in the description box and let's show you the dress and then i gotta get on to this video that i need to make I mean, I have just really been into pleated things. Go follow me on Instagram because I will, hold on. I will be showing like the shoes that I would wear with this. Let's see. Absolutely stunning. I will link this dress down below because everyone and their mother 
meets this dress. This is a perfect, like, I feel like this is one of those dresses that can be so many different occasions. Like, it's not just, like, a super dressy, even though it could be a super dressy occasion dress. Like, it's just, it's so pretty. It is a size 20. <laughs> Yes, your girls are so wet. Um, so it does have some more room in the chest. And this was, girl, it was, let me show you. Hold on. Now, if you're looking real close, like real, real, real close, you can see the little micro stitch that I had to do. But this thing was, the girls were out and the bra was showing in, in everything. Not a cute look. So I had to micro stitch it with this little baby, which I will link this down below because this thing, I freaking love this. So again, whoever sent me that video, thank you. This is, this is probably my, my best, next to my Kindle, my best purchase from Amazon ever. This and my Kindle, because I use them all the freaking time. Um, but yeah, this dress is just so beautiful with the pleats. You have the, uh, like look how pretty it is and then you have adjustable straps over here and I mean this color y'all this freaking color it does come in another color too but this color is just stunning it's absolutely 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 stunning I love it absolutely absolutely love it and let me see, you've got the belt. I was showing you guys, I'm not sure if that video's up yet. It should be, yes, it's up. But I was talking about doing that. I think that this dress requires it to be in the front. But let's just see, because I feel like in the back, I was saying in the video that I was doing it where if you do it in the back, it takes, it takes it away, your eye away from the tummy area, but this leg doesn't cling to my tummy as much, so I feel like the belt actually looks better. Let me know what you guys think. Leave it in the comments down below. Do you like it like this better? And then the belt's going towards the back, or the bow, I guess you could say. It's like a little bow in the back or do you guys like it like this this is a long belt so i usually like to do it to the side let me know in the comments down below i actually like it right here because a big reason why I usually don't like belts like this is because, again, I feel like it really just kind of brings the eye right to an area in which I usually don't like the attention to be brought to. But in this one, I don't feel like my stomach is like on full display, you know? All right, I just finished editing. I'm waiting on my week 11 weight loss results to export. If you guys are not following me on my weight loss channel, go follow me over there. Some of you actually told me that you prefer that channel now over this channel, and I'm here for it. Like, I'm here to bring it all to you. So, if you guys are interested, it, it is weight loss, but I'm just kind of sharing a lot of what I'm going through more in depth of personal development and personal growth than I have been over here. So make sure you go follow me over there, especially if you are interested in my weight loss journey. Uh, the link is down below. Maybe you guys didn't know. But I'm sitting here as I was letting it export. I'm going to upload it because I also have a channel membership over there where there's two tiers and the second tier is getting early access. So today is my actual weigh-in and everyone who is a member of my channel membership over there is going to get my video like way early access because that video is not going to be shown publicly on that channel until next Wednesday because my 
weigh-ins are a week behind. Those of you that are channel members are gonna get that junk today. And I can't promise that every, every week because it is, it's a lot to go ahead film it, make sure I get it edited, uploaded, all that stuff. But for sure, channel members of that channel, 100% get the video way in advance than just non-channel members, if that makes sense. Um, okay, so same with here, by the way. Go ahead and plug my channel membership. If you guys want early access to these vlogs and the video that's going up Thursday, y'all had last week the channel members had last week we're doing live streams once a month uh trying to coordinate that because i thought we were going to do it on 23rd and i'm i'm trying to get as many people in the live stream as possible because i want to have it engaging and i also want to engage with you guys and i don't want you to miss out you know what i mean um, which obviously you'll be able to watch it but i don't want you to feel left out if you're watching and you weren't a part of it so I'm really trying. It's hard to coordinate so many schedules though. So I'm gonna try a couple more dates and I'm just gonna see which one which one has the majority. But um, yeah, you can join my, my, my channel membership as well. But I'm going through, I don't know if I showed you. So these, if I did, let's just go over it again. I got these from the dollar store. I went with a 100 piece puzzle. So <laughs> this is gonna be a challenge. This 100 piece puzzle is probably going to take me the full two hours. I'm not even kidding. Contrell can do a 550 piece puzzle in two hours and I can do a 100 piece puzzle in two hours. Ooh, ooh girl. <laughs> I might not even finish the junk in and out in two hours. Anyways, I have, I'm going to show you the puzzles that I have and then I'm going to pick, I'm going to tell you which one I'm going to pick. So I got Ariel and Moana. These are all at the dollar store. And Paw Patrol and Spidey Amazing Friends and Disney Junior Mickey Best Bubs. <laughs> Best Bubs. Best Buds Loyal and True. And then I also got ooh, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one. So um, which one y'all do, do you think looks the easiest? Whew. Uh, some of y'all that are puzzle puzzle lovers and y'all are laughing at me right now and, and go ahead. I'm laughing right there with you. <laughs> uh, I, I want to do I want to do Ariel. I really want to do Ariel. But I'm sitting here looking at it going, oh, girl, I don't know. Can you? Can you? Do, I can do anything. Gosh darn it. But like. We're going to do this one and I'm going to show y'all footage of me doing it. Happy Tuesday. I am on my way to therapy and then I've got to go make a return to Walmart and then go get some butter for tonight's dinner. Before I go, I did want to show you my cute outfit. So I have this shirt. It's from Invaland, which is on Amazon. I'm not sure if they still have this or not. Is this from Invaland? Yes. I love this shirt. I wear it all the time. And then these jeans are from Lane Bryant. And then these shoes are from Shein. I freaking love these shoes. Every time I wear them, I'm like, I know my kids are like, they're so ugly. But I'm like, how can you guys think that these shoes are ugly? They're so cute. Anyways, I just have this necklace from QVC, it's Diamondique. And then my earrings are from Ana Luisa. I can link this. I seriously doubt QVC has this anymore. I don't know about linking this. I can link this and I can also link these cute ass shoes. Look at them. Let me zoom in because they're so freaking, look at them. Look how cute they are. Anyways, this is my outfit for the day. I will see you guys later on. I am back and I wanna make lunch with you guys. We are having a fish sandwich and I had this yesterday and it was so delicious that I wanna make it with you guys to share in the deliciousness. You're going to need a bun of any kind. I don't care. You don't even need a bun if you don't want to do a bun. I'm just showing you the way that I made it last night or yesterday. Hold on. Plastic cheese. It's a must. 35 calories. And it's just good. What can I say? I don't know. My kids hate this cheese. I love it. So the star of the show are these. You guys saw me get these and talk about me. Uh, I will talk about these. I found these in my local Publix. I had no idea these even existed until I saw them on sale on their sale ad. And I was like, 
What? Because you guys know this real good, real good brand, real good foods brand, their chicken nuggets, they are now a staple. These are amazing. Listen to this. You get two fillets for 120 calories, one and a half grams of fat, four net carbs, and 20 grams of protein. And these are really good. Now, do they taste like fried fish? No, they don't. But they're really good. And this is what a patty looks like, or a filet. So that's what it looks like. And then I make my own color sauce with has to be Dukes. Do not fight me on this. It has to be Dukes, okay? Light Dukes mayonnaise. And then I have some sweet relish here. And then I'm just gonna salt, pepper it up, and add some, I think I'm gonna add onion and tomatoes. I did not do this on my fish sandwich yesterday, but I'm gonna do it today. I'm gonna do 148 grams, which is going to give me 159 calories. You cannot beat that. Watch how much fish I'm gonna have. So that is already in the air fryer basket. I'm going to put it in the air fryer at 400 for 15 minutes. And while that is good, let me go ahead and do that actually right now. While that's going, I'm gonna make the tartar sauce. For the tartar sauce, you are going to want a full serving of mayonnaise, which is going to be one tablespoon. I'm gonna weigh it out and it's gonna come out to 15 grams. That's, that's gonna be, yeah, I was about to say, that's way more than 15. Now I have sweet relish. I have no idea if this is like the regular recipe for, did I, did I zero that out? I don't think I did. It's, it's whatever, like this is not gonna, just do however, measure with your heart with the relish. You could do sweet relish, you could do regular relish. I personally prefer sweet relish. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt to this. Relish on my shirt, that is great. <laughs> and then you just mix it together. Now I have no idea if this is authentic, if this is really all tartar sauce is, or if there's something else added. I have no idea. This just sounded good to me yesterday, so it's what I did, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So that's what I did. So that is how I made my tartar sauce. Boom, bam, yum. Okay, so here we go. We've got one filet and then another. I'm gonna put some salt on it. And then I'm gonna put my cheese on top while it is hot. Put this on top of that. And look at that deliciousness. Doesn't it look so good? McDonald's who? Uh-uh. Again, McDonald's who? Look at how good this looks. Delish. Let's take a bite. I can't tell you the last time I've actually had a fish fillet from McDonald's. I have no idea. Mm, that is so good. Wow. That's incredible. And if you're doing low carb, ditch the bun and then just eat it like this with your tartar sauce. Mm hmm. That is so freaking good. Y'all need to make this if you like fish. And let me know what you think. Hey girl, hey, it is Wednesday. I just had such a good meeting. It went so well and I am so incredibly excited. I cannot wait to share with you guys what is going on. And I'm just so excited. I feel like I pulled a back muscle though. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, I got a sneeze girl, hold on. <laughs> Oh, bless me. So I have these three perfumes I want to show you guys today. And I want to say a huge thank you to Dacier for partnering with me and sponsoring this portion of this week's vlog. So we have three perfumes I'm going to tell you about. 
And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Dossier as well while I'm telling you. Dossier believes everyone deserves to smell like luxury. So they have created inspired by your favorite designer scents. Think Chanel, Tom Ford, Joe Malone, and many more. So they smell like your favorite designer perfume without the massive price tag as Dossier scents start at just $29. And the way that they've been able to do that is that they have, they eliminate retailer markups, celebrity marketing, and licensing fees to offer the luxury scents for 70 to 90% less. They also, and this is what I love about them too, if you don't like the scent or scents that you've chosen, you can send them back on them, no questions asked. And I absolutely love that. So return policy is absolutely amazing. And of course, if you're interested, go to the link in the description box and don't forget to use my coupon code, which is Miss Green Eyes 5 to save 5% off your order. So these are the scents that I have for this month. I have Ambery Sage, which looks like this. And it smells like Tom Ford's effing fabulous. But this retails for $395, okay? Like the original one. But with getting Ambry Sage, you are saving $346. You can't beat that. Next we have Floral Rose. This one is inspired by Le Labo Fragrances Rose 31. And that perfume retails for $230, so you're saving $191 with this perfume, which is amazing. And then we have a spicy mimosa right here, which is inspired by Joe Malone's Mimosa and Cardamom. This one smells really good too. The retail price of that one is $165, so you are saving $136 by getting this Dossier Spicy Mimosa scent. Yeah, I like that too, I like that a lot. Um, again, down below, you can go click the link in the description box. It will send you to their website and you can use coupon code MissGreenEyes5 to save 5% off their already super, super low prices. So highly recommend them. I have been working with them for, I wanna say a couple years now. So what are we doing today? We're going on a solo date. Okay, it's 61 degrees. This is my ideal solo date for this month, okay? It is going to be at the pool. I'm gonna pick me. <laughs> I'm gonna pack me a lunch and I'm I'm dressed up, like I'm dressed the part and everything, which actually I'm going to put on a bathing suit because it's supposed to be, you know what? Let me actually check that. Let me check that because this weather has been crazy. Girl, we were under a freeze warning. Okay, it's supposed to be 72. What time is it supposed to be 72? Okay, I feel like it's 60. I feel like it's 68. I can lounge around the pool in a bathing suit and read a book because that is exactly what I want to do. I want to pack a lunch and I'm going to go down to the pool area and I'm going to have me a little picnic because they have it like all set up. Like I could sit there and watch TV if I wanted to and just that's actually what I'm going to do. I'm not going to sit at a table. I'm going to sit on the little couch that they have and I'm going to watch TV. And then from there, once I'm done with my lunch, I'm going to go and sit in the sun. I'm going to put on some sunscreen for all y'all hating us out there <laughs> saying, girl, I let me tell you something. I love, I love a good tan. I'm sorry, I just do. But I do, you can tan with sunscreen. I'm gonna bring my sunscreen and I'm gonna put it on <laughs> and I'm gonna lay in a lounger and I'm gonna read a book. So girl, I'm into this and I'm imagining that this is me and Shannon. Uh, let me stop. Okay, this book is called The Idea of You. And I found it on Kindle Unlimited. And it was it just showed up in it. I don't even know. I, oh, I think it said soon to be motion picture. And I was like, Oh, like, let me look at this. And let me see. Let me see what it is. So then I read the description. And I was like, Oh, oh, this sounds interesting. And because the, the woman's like 40. And then the, the boy band member is 20 and they you know have a little romance going on and yeah Anne Hathaway is going to be is the lead the movie comes out is it Netflix I think it's Netflix but it comes out on May 2nd girl when I tell you I cannot wait for this movie like I am I am all prepared like I'm gonna do a movie night like I know I'm doing a self-care what is that a Friday night is that a Friday is that a what what is that May 2nd, oh, that's a Thursday. So maybe I'll just have, oh, 
Maybe I'll just take the day, like the morning and do like a self-care morning and do like a mask and do some popcorn and do some of my smart sweets. I cannot wait for that movie to come out. I don't even subscribe to Netflix, but I'm going to subscribe to it that month for sure. Like kids, you better get all the Netflixing you want in that month. Um, but yeah, I'm so, so, so excited. So this is a really freaking good book. I stayed up till... just reading I couldn't put it down and wow it's really good so how much more of this do I have I have five hours and 12 I mean I could see myself being out there not kidding for like three four hours reading this book like, it's so good but that's gonna be my solo date today I am gonna bring you guys down there for just a little bit but today is really all about me and then I'm gonna come home and I'm going to do a workout and I'm gonna dance because I haven't danced I actually haven't danced in a while so I'm gonna do that and that's gonna be my solo date to myself and I'm actually going down there just like this like I said I'm gonna put on my bathing suit but hopefully I still have that strapless tank top because that's one thing I cannot stand is uh let me put you guys this way I cannot stand tan lines um so, isn't it pretty? So, I bought this dress years ago, okay? Notice the pleats. It was always so tight right here in the stomach, and it just never, it just, I just never felt comfortable in it. I bought it for Easter, I want, I want to say it was probably two years ago, and it just, again, it just never felt right. So um, I just, it's, I just sat it in my closet because I was like, one day I will wear this dress. I really think that this is going to be my Easter dress. Like, I feel so good in this dress. I don't know. I've just been feeling so good about myself lately. And I have just been wanting to dress up and, and all of the things. I wanted to show you guys something though. Hold on. I used this baby yet again because these straps were so big that they were falling down. And then this, if you can see, this is still kind of a little big. But with the straps, these don't have adjustable straps. Look how look how pretty this dress is. I don't think it's available anymore. I got it from Shein. Like I said, it was a couple years ago. But um, I took the micro stitch. First, I did it this way. And I did it like this because you can... Nope, you can't even see it. But I did it like this. But I was like, oh, I don't love the look of that. So I just took it in the back. And I think you guys can tell. Yeah. So I'm just gonna kind of like micro stitch this a little bit more so you can't really tell as much. But I just micro stitched. Y'all, when I tell you, if you are like me and have a smaller chest or smaller shoulders, I always have a problem with straps. And that would deter me from, because it's like this is a perfect dress but it's too big because these keep falling off. Micro stitched it. It took me literally like two seconds. You cannot see it at all like I said I can I'm gonna micro stitch that together because that's the only part that's like the dead giveaway but honestly girl you can't see that link is down below for this baby because I am freaking loving this thing I put this on and I was like it's too big and I said I got my micro stitcher now so I just pulled it out and boom bam before I knew it it's perfect is it not? I love this dress. So this is totally going to be the dress that I wear on Easter Sunday for church. I'm so excited to be able to wear it. I've worn it for several hours already and it is not tight in this area like it used to be and it's just it's so exciting. It's so exciting to be able to see my results and feel them and I'm just I'm so freaking proud of myself because when I tell you this is going to be my year, this is going to be my year. This is going to be my year of me. This is going to be the year that I rediscover myself. This is going to be the year that I put myself first. This is going to be the year where I can finally, for the first time, be a little selfish when it comes to my kids because they're older and they don't need me as much. While I miss them needing me as much, I'm kind of getting to a place where I'm like, holy crap, like I can actually do, like have a life 
apart from being mom. So it's just feeling really good. And I'm just really enjoying this part of my life and, and all of the things that are coming along with it. So yeah, I'm gonna have my solo date today. I'm gonna go make my sandwich for the pool. So other than my solo date that I show you guys, I probably won't see you the rest of today. Um, I'm gonna be working tonight and doing a workout as well. Should I put on something? I will, I'll just put in my, I wear these all the time, you all know that. These came from, what, what's the name? Ana Luisa, Ana Luisa, Ana Luisa. And I freaking love them because they just go with everything. Y'all, that was amazing. That was absolutely amazing. Um, highly recommend. If you guys are not taking care of yourself and doing solo dates, like I said, it doesn't, you just saw, it doesn't have to be big. I thoroughly enjoyed that. As a matter of fact, I enjoyed that more than I would have enjoyed taking myself out for lunch or what else are some other solo, solo day date ideas? That was just perfect. I enjoyed that more than anything else I could have done by myself right now in this in this moment in my life right now. I feel like I was gonna, I'm so hot. It was perfect outside because the sun. I mean, there was not a there is not a cloud in the sky. Bright, beautiful. I'm reading a really good book. I didn't want to leave. I wanted to stay down there longer, but something ended up coming up that I wasn't able to. But girl. I would have stayed down there till like five or six. I'm not even kidding. That book is so freaking good. I'm so into it and I'm just really loving it. And it's just, it's just a beautiful day. Like the sun was nice and warm, but then the breeze would come and ugh, it was just perfect. It was perfect. I could not have asked for a better solo date for myself. So anyways, I'm gonna work out and then I gotta get some work done. There is nothing else planned for today. Tomorrow we're going grocery shopping. So I will either, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do because Contrell's having a party this Saturday and he wants to go grocery shopping with me for his party. But I was gonna go grocery shopping for a few things tomorrow that we need. So I probably won't do like a full on out grocery shopping thing, but I will probably take you guys with me. Um, if not, then I will show you a grocery haul. Like I said, I don't know how much it's actually going to end up being, but we will see tomorrow and I'll see you guys then. Happy Thursday. Do you know anything is so funny? You'll be doing a workout, right? And while you're doing it, you're like, I don't feel anything. Like what is going on? 
And then the next day you're like, oh, I'm a little sore. And then day two, you're a little more sore and you're like, here I thought on Tuesday, the little, there's like a, I think it's called a lap machine. And then it also has a row thing on there. And I'm sitting here as I'm doing it. I'm like, I don't feel anything. I did this one time when I was a member of Planet Fitness <laughs> where the same thing. I was doing my, I was working my arms and I was like, I don't feel anything. And I was sore for days, but it didn't come until the next day. It was crazy. So yeah, don't ever... Sometimes those workouts where you think that nothing is happening, there's really something going on. Um, I danced last night. Girl, I can't tell you the last time I danced because I've been going to the gym with control and I'll just walk on the treadmill. But he has a rest day on Wednesday. So I was like, I am dancing today. Cause you know, yesterday I did my solo date and I was like, that's gonna be the perfect end to my solo date. It was amazing. I had so much fun. I like really got into it cause I haven't danced in so long. But then I also realized how far behind I am because I'm like, most of these are all new dances. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing for half of them, but I just, I just had a good time. Um, so the reason I came to you today, first of all, do you guys remember, I don't know if you do, because I don't know if I really talked about it, but as I was gaining weight, this is one of my favorite shirts, just an Adidas shirt, and it's just, I just really love it. I love the fabric. I love everything about it. So there's a little example right there. I cut it one day thinking I would like it better. So this morning, I accidentally got this out. I thought it was something else, and I haven't been wearing it because... I'm just like, that just looks so bummy. It just doesn't look right. I mean, not to say that if you have something that is frayed or uneven, it just, girl, your girl can't cut, okay? So it was very uneven. So what I did today before I put my shirt on is I put it, laid it down on my countertop and I just started, what you call it, folding the the pieces over and again I took my micro switch I was like I have used this more this week than I have but I just want to let you know like if y'all watch my my hauls y'all know the problem that I have had for years with straps being too long and pants being too long you can hem pants i'm gonna hem those because they're too long you guys can't see that <laughs> those i just i just want to share i just want to share because it's, it's working and obviously i've used the hell out of it this week in different different aspects so uh, another thing i wanted to show you guys is this as you can see i got some dry shampoo in my hair don't mind that girl but I was watching this video the other day and it was showing the different curl styles and she did the the curling wand curl and I was like that's the curl that I love when I have that curl I feel the most beautiful I feel the most me like that's my style like I really love the curl curls but then it's not my favorite. Like when you turn around and you just see like curls, I like more waves. And so, um, you see how much better that, that looks so much better than what it used to look. Tell me it doesn't look so much better. Anyways, I am going to try. I don't think this, this, I don't think this is going to work. I'm going to be honest because hold on. Oh, wrong one. There. You know how with a wand, it's not a flat, like it's round, but I'm just gonna try it anyways, cause y'all know this thing, this thing works. I wonder if it's, I don't know, is it the fan? Is it the, what is it about this? Is it the plates? Is it the heat setting? I don't, I don't know, is it the type of curl? I, I, I do feel like straighteners do have better curls. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this like this and I'm just gonna see, again, I don't think it's gonna work to give me the curl that I'm looking for. But I will never know if I don't try, right? And then I'm just gonna hold it here until 
And then I'm just gonna like plan on going like this. I mean, again, that is completely different. It's, is it actually gonna work? It's not, it's not all the way heated yet, uh, up yet. I'm like waiting for it to heat up. But girl, this might work. Okay, I wanna do the difference. So that is that one. And then this is how it would look if I did it, how it's, how I've been doing it. So I wanna see the difference in the curls. And then I'm just gonna straighten my hair, probably. Actually, I don't know, I might sit here and curl my hair because I love my hair curled, even though I'm just wearing, uh, what's it called, workout clothes today? Yeah, there is something about this curl, the loose, the more looseness of it, that I like so much better. I think I may have found it. I really think I may have found it. Oh, 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 uh oh, uh oh, oh, hold on. Well, now the two are clumping together. I'm gonna do that. I don't know if I'm gonna do it in this vlog. I might go ahead and wash my hair tonight. And then from there, do my whole head and see. I don't know, but I really do like the wand curls more than I like these curls. Again, not that these curls are bad. Anyways, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna put on my makeup and head on over to the grocery store. I'm going to Food Lion. They have chicken on sale this week, $1.99 a pound. So that's the cheapest that I saw it. And they also have pineapples two for four. So I'm gonna go ahead and get two pineapples. That'll be our fruit for the week. And then I'm gonna head on over to Walmart and get a few things because we actually have a good bit in the in the fridge and freezer right now. Well, like in the freezer that I can just kind of concoct and make cheaper meals uh, and things like that. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I did it. Now they're so beautiful. So beautiful, it makes me wanna cry. The real test is to see if the curls last like this. This is beautiful. This is exactly what I want. Oh, how pretty is it? Do you see how much more full my hair looks? The back. I haven't seen the back, so I'm seeing it. We're seeing it together for the first time. We're seeing it for the first time together. How's it look? All right, curls, you better do me right because I literally had to do nothing to my hair. Like I kind of just went like a little bit like this, but that was it. Like they're literally perfect the way that they are. Did I just find my perfect curling technique? I may have. I'm so glad I found that video. And then I was like, let me see if I can turn mine into a wand. And I mean, I kind of showed you guys what I did. I did do different techniques because some of the hair, like it, it did get a little hard. So like this one right here, I had to like, it was, it was wavy up here or curly up here. And so then I had to take it on the bottom and curl it and then go down. Um, but that's pretty much what I did. Like I, I literally did the same process that I would do. Um, it was a lot more, it was a lot more time consuming and it was definitely a lot more to it, doing it the way that I just did it. But I will take it if, cause this is, this is the look I want. You know what I mean? Um, but it's like basically the same process. You just wrap it around and then I would clamp it like this, hold it for a little bit and then just... But it didn't work. It didn't work like that for all of them. Some of them came out looking weird. And so I would have to go and just kind of wrap it around. Some of these pieces, especially around here in the back on the side over here, I literally just left it open like this and then wrapped my hair around, closed it, and then 
opened it and just let the curl, like let my hair fall out naturally. So I didn't do the whole, this process for my whole head. That one obviously is a lot easier. You just wrap it, clamp it, let it sit there for a minute, not a minute, but you know what I mean? Like a few seconds and then just let it go. And then you can just let the curl fall into your hand. I'm gonna show y'all and let y'all know how long these last. I, I'm tempted to put something in my hair. I don't think it's gonna be humid today, but that's, that's what worries me is the humidity. Are these curls going to last? Regardless of how I use this, are these curls, I'm probably gonna have to put something in my hair in order to make it last once it starts getting really humid. So I will see you guys when I'm back with a grocery haul. Okay, so I went to Food Lion and Walmart and I'm gonna tell you what I did in a minute. So three mac and cheese from Walmart's milk. Eggs, as you can see from Food Lion, these were $1.60 for 18. They're like almost $4 at Walmart. Let me double check that price. $1.80, $1.80. I was like, are you kidding me? I got some peppers, Food Lion, bananas, Food Lion. These were also on sale at Food Lion, so I got two pineapples. And then, as you can see, I got these from Walmart. So I got six, yes, six cans of French style green beans. I think I told y'all already, chicken was on sale. I'm gonna go ahead and cook this today to have for us for the week and for dinners and lunches. But chicken, this for 3.12 pounds, it was $6.21. I think that was pretty darn good. Got some turkey breast, some pimento cheese because I'm gonna have some pimento cheese chicken. Oh girl, I'm so excited for that. Oh, I'm so excited for that. Um, this is, I swear to you guys, this keeps going up every single month because it was like, it was a dollar. And then I swear I was paying like a dollar 42 or something along those lines. Now today it was like a dollar 98 or something. I, it was basically $2. I was like, what the hell is going on? We all know prices of everything just keeps going up, keeps going up, keeps going up. Anyways. You know what? This isn't the one I, I get. I usually get the original flavor. That's okay. Um, Velveeta shreds. I love the macros on these. You get a fourth of a cup for only 60 calories, three grams of fat, and five grams of protein. And then reduced fat mozzarella for our pizzas. And then also, we're, me and Control are going shopping tomorrow because he wants to go grocery shopping with me for his party. I could have totally just did it all today, but he wanted to do it together. So I'm waiting on him for tomorrow. But basically we're getting the same things. Like they're, his friends are gonna be making pizzas. So we're just gonna get a bunch of these. I'll probably get another package of cheese. And then I did end up getting this pasta sauce and I got this big one for his party tomorrow. But no, his party is not tomorrow, his party on Saturday. Um, so I did get that from Food Lion and then I got a package of turkey pepperoni. That is grocery haul. I will see you guys. I might end this vlog, I'm not sure. Oh. Hair, hair update. This is what we're looking like. I gotta go work out. So I'm kind of wondering, these, these look like they're kind of falling out a little bit. These look good, but I don't know about these so much, but I am, I gotta go work out and I'm probably gonna sweat. So we'll see. I will keep you guys updated, but yeah, I'm gonna go put these up. Have my fish sandwich, they're so delicious. And I'll talk to you later. Y'all know I showed you how I was making the fish sandwich, right? And the tartar sauce. Well, that day I was looking up, like, how do you actually make tartar sauce? Because I just kind of made this up, like, thinking, like, it's just mayonnaise and, and relish, which essentially it is. But a lot of the recipes that I looked at had Dijon mustard and then lemon juice. Well, I don't have lemon juice, I have lime juice, but I added like the teeniest, tiniest bit of Dijon mustard because it's just like a one size serving. It's just like one serving, right? So just a little bit of Dijon mustard and a little bit of lime juice because that's all I have, takes it up another notch. It is so freaking good. So add those two things if you're gonna make the fish sandwich. Well, if you're gonna make the tartar sauce, 
you have to do the dupes though, I'm telling you. You cannot use Cool Whip. You can. No, Cool Whip. Mirror Cool Whip. <laughs> you can if you want to. But dupes will be better. Um, but yeah, make it. If you make it, let me know what you think. Because, again, I just taste tested it and I was like, oh, this is it right here. This is it. Y'all, I haven't worked out yet. Normally I would be working out or have already done my workout, but... I forgot I had a new appointment with my nutritionist until I got my text. Thank God they text me. My gosh. Anyways, I wanted to update y'all on my hair. I mean, it's still better than it was. You remember what it looked like this morning? It was like just, it was so flat. So it's better than what it was, but it has stupid diamonds. No, they didn't go away. But I mean, do you see how it just... Unfortunately, that looks like that is not a way to get it to stay. If any of you, because I know a couple of you had told me about Lange's wand. Do you really feel like it's better than any other wand out there? Because... Really, truly, the Laduo is the only thing I have ever found to work for my hair. It just doesn't give me the curls, like my perfect curls. Like, I'm still happy that it just holds curls, period, like in general, you know? But I would love to find something that would give me the curls I want on day one. Because eventually, they fall to look, you know, like waves. And, and that's when I usually like it a lot more but anyways i had to come tell you guys about this they'll just release a new flavor hopefully when you guys see this on sunday those of you that are in my channel membership you guys are going to see it before sunday so maybe if you guys are interested go get when i tell you if you like these cookies these chunks literally taste ex mouth is watering just remember just remembering I, I ate half, I had to stop myself because I was like, nope, you're gonna eat this after you work out. And so, and I wasn't really hungry. I was just really taste testing it for, I was doing a, a TikTok. And so I was like, just taste it. I really was just gonna eat like this much. And I ended up like noticing I couldn't stop eating because it's so freaking good. But these little chunks literally taste just like these cookies. And I just have had these cookies not that long ago because we bought peanut butter cookies from Pillsbury and we have Hershey Kisses. So I was making those and then put Hershey Kiss on there and some nights that would be, two of those cookies would be my dessert for the night. So yeah, I mean, I was like chewing, I was like, how do they do it? These things are so freaking good. They're a marshmallow texture, 160 calories in this one and 15 grams of protein, so. Highly recommend, links down below for Built Bars. MGE10 is the coupon code. And these, I can tell you, are gonna go fast. I don't, like I said, I don't even know if, if, if you're watching this on Sunday, if they're still gonna be available. Hopefully they will be, because if you guys wanna snag them, snag them. They are, they are that freaking good. I was just like, I have to, I don't make a video every time I do a new release, cause I swear to you, they do a new release like every two weeks it seems lately but um i was like i had it and it's funny because they just released it today and they just delivered the samples to me today like the samples got delivered today i was like okay this is my sign that i need to tell everyone and their mother about these because they're just that good and they're not gonna last so coupon code down below in the description box i'm gonna go ahead and say that this is just gonna keep getting worse. Like my hair over time throughout the rest of the day, especially after I go do my workout. Why did this one stay so damn good? But I'm telling you, this one looked so good. Like this side right here from like here to here, when I was curling it, I was like, this looks, like I was literally falling in love with it. I was like, this looks so good. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that 
it's going to keep falling. As I do my workout and I sweat, it's going to fall even more, unfortunately. I'm going to I'm going to try it again. I'm going to try it again. But I'm going to say for right now, there's just no way. There's there's just no way. And honestly, it needs to be brushed cuz it's just and I guarantee as soon as I brush it, it's going to be like pretty much go back to being the way that it was before I even curl. Yep, exact. Yep, that's exactly what happens with my hair. I love it. This really does drive me nuts. I'm not even gonna lie to you, um, but I can just tell it needs it needs to be brushed so bad. And I mean, there's a little bit of some kind of little something something to it, you know, but not much. So I will not give up though. But I am going to go ahead and end the vlog right here because it is is a very long vlog. And I hope that you guys enjoy. I'm going to keep it this long. I'm not going to cut it. Those of you that are on my channel members, please, please do me a huge, huge favor. Because I don't know. I'm really trying to get all of us on the live stream this month, okay? It was supposed to be this Saturday. But only two of you are voting, okay? I need all all of you to go down in the comment section right now and tell me what day this month you are available and what time. I need specific days because I would really love to schedule it on a day that you guys are all available. So you guys can all be there and we can all chat and it'll be a really intimate, cool way for us to chat and I, I want all I don't want you guys to miss it if you guys like I understand you'll still have the live stream and you'll still be able to watch it but I want you guys to be a part of the live stream so I have asked y'all like I'm not even kidding like four times and there, I swear it's just two of you that are voting and it's going back and forth where literally every single date I have suggested it's 50-50 one says yes, one says no. And I'm like, oh. so then someone then mentioned during the week is best for me after this time. And so I tried to make it like give two dates on the week during the weekend or during the week and still split 50 50. So I'm really trying to make it and I do not want to hold off. I don't want you guys thinking that I'm just forgetting about it. I'm not. I just Make sure when you guys are channel members that you have your notifications on because I talk to y'all a lot, especially those of you in that third tier. I'm talking to y'all a lot. I'm asking y'all a lot of questions because like I said, I'm really, really, really wanting to coordinate when we can at least most of us. Um, okay, now I'm looking. It's saying Tuesday, March 21st. So there is another. So there's three votes now. March 21st at 7, which is today, which isn't going to happen. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Um, no one said there were zero votes for March 27th. So I, I want to please everyone, and I don't want anyone to feel left out. So I'm trying to make it to where there is one date that is 100% you guys can all be. And there are more of you that are on the live stream tier. So I want all of you to be a part of the live stream. So let me know in the comments down below. You guys also that are channel members, regardless of if you're tier one, tier two, tier three, you have priority I get back to every single one of you. Priority responding to comments. Every single one of you get that with the channel membership as well. So if you guys want to join, um, that's a great way, but I will see your comment. I will see your comment before I see anyone else's. So please, those of you that are in tier three, let me know in the comments down below of this video. And then also make sure you have your notifications turned on. So that way, especially those of you that are wanting early access to my videos, make sure you have your notifications turned on because YouTube will notify you only if your notifications are turned on. 
I'm assuming, because that's what they're telling me. Um, so make sure you have notifications turned on so that way you're always notified of any time I'm talking to you in the members only area and then also any time a video gets posted for you guys to watch before it goes live for my entire channel. So yeah, I would really love to see all of you there at the live stream and if not, if that's not the case, then I'm going to make this the date and I'm going to stick with it. So if you guys do not comment down below in the comment section, and of course I will also put this in, a ch in the channel membership area, but I am going to just pick a date, which is, oh, I hate it because someone specifically told me that she was only available. Mm, I can't remember. I know it was weeknights. I'm going to do, well, that's the date that people said no to, the 27th. <laughs> Y'all, this is so, okay, I know what I'll do. I will do Thursday. This is going to be the date if you guys do not comment down below. And again, I will put this in the members only community tab, so make sure you guys have your notifications turned on so YouTube will notify you whenever I post the date and say, okay, I'm going live, but March 28th, which is a Thursday at 7 p.m. If you, if you guys do not comment down below, that is going to be the date that I'm going to choose. And for those of you that can make it, we'll be there. And I want all of y'all to be there, but you know what I mean? It's, it's really hard to coordinate. Um, so hopefully you guys can make it because I did, I did leave a comment and I said, I hope you all see this comment. It's 50, 50 again on these dates. Can y'all comment and let me know the day and time you are available so we can coordinate the time we are all available and no one responded to that comment. So I'm assuming that none of y'all saw it. So I want to publicly put it in a video because I don't know what you guys are receiving from YouTube and what YouTube notifies you of and if you understand all of the areas in which you guys are being shown all of this stuff. Okay, I love you guys. Have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.